wanted to sit down just for a little bit of a chat and kind of recap my last year. birthday this year some good things that happened to me some bad things that happened to me and just kind of like what I'm grateful for and what I'm really looking forward to in this next year so last year 2018 August 7th that was a very interesting time for me I went on a little bit of a business adventure in Japan I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it because well it's a long story. I had started a kind of a pop-up Instagrammable art exhibit here in Tokyo. Again, it's a long story. If you guys are interested in knowing the whole story, leave a comment down below and if you're lucky, I might just go into full detail about this story. I had a falling out with my business partner 
and right when the exhibit opened, which was like right during my birthday, like during that time, I had to cut ties with my business partner, so I can never, I was never able to see my exhibit in fruition. Like, I can, I wasn't able to help it take the steps forward to be successful. I'm just gonna like insert some footage and some clips right here to show you how really beautiful it was. Team borderless okay like I don't, I don't got the team I don't got the manpower I don't got the funds for that but for what I was able to conjure up I thought it was pretty fucking good I, again it's, that's another vlog if you want it it was a very proud yet defeating time in my life like I said it was really bittersweet moment in my life because I did it and I had to let it go there were some legal issues and some other stuff going on I that have all been settled now, thank God. It was definitely a mountain to climb. Without Yuji, I would have never been able to do it. There was a time where I had like wanted to go back home because I was so uh, upset about it. So I had to set YouTube aside to really focus on what was going on with me at that time, which was uh, me powering through this feeling of wanting to go home, me powering through this feeling of defeat, and me just really fucking gumbating, you know, myself and uh, hitting it head on. I went through this slump. I didn't feel like myself. Uh, there was a time where I was actually scared and was about to leave Japan. One of the things I'm thankful for this year is my family who snapped me out of it my dad who basically had said like what the hell's wrong with you get it together you don't just run away from stuff which is probably what i needed to hear he reminded me about who i am and i'm like i'm no wimp i'm not scared you know i'm not gonna run away basically he pulled me back to reality and then there was my mom who was really supportive and there for me too you know just comforting as she always is i think in life we all know we should not trust everybody and i was trusting everybody and that was my downfall my advice to myself and to anybody else is don't lose your street smarts when you come to japan still trust and love people but don't think that everybody is 100% trustworthy. So after everything had settled down, I could move forward with my YouTube channel. I started posting weekly. One of the things I'm most thankful for this year is meeting some really good people because I started pursuing my channel. Those people have become really close friends of mine. Those are some of my best friends now. And I was given friendship, a friendship that I believe will last forever. So I'm really, really grateful for that. Grateful for, you know, my sister who has always been in contact with me, trying really hard to keep in touch because she knows how hard it is to live abroad. And she's probably one of the most understanding and sympathetic people to living abroad because she's done it most of her life. So I'm grateful for all of my family and everything that's been given to me this year. New friendships, old friendships, sustained friendships. Grateful for my already existing circle of friends. I was able to go home this last year and, and I got to see my panda bear who I'm so grateful for. My spirit animal. The other thing that I cannot forget to mention of is of course being engaged. Yuji working so hard to make it happen. And now I'm gonna plan this wedding which I'm so excited for. And my family's coming. The people who are coming and making the effort, man, how can I not be grateful for that? I'm also grateful for my my work, my job. Like I really love teaching. I teach at multiple schools and all my students i'm so grateful for especially the ones that say hi to me the ones that are so happy to see me some of some of my younger kids they hug me and they're so happy to see me and what other job can you go to where you're greeted with so much enthusiasm and happiness the last thing i'm grateful for is everybody who subscribed here um to my channel thank you so much to sum it all up, I have a lot of things to be grateful in this last year and I cannot wait for this upcoming year. There's going to be so many good things that are happening and I cannot wait to 
to start another year, another adventure, and I hope I can share everything with you guys. I know it's gonna be a great year, and you know what? Subscribe if you wanna see how this year turns out for me. So I'm gonna end it here. Bye guys, see you.